Hey there. It's Arash, San Diego based photographer, host of Burner Podcast, founder of Just Fight Hype. Uh, I am. Oops, I had the mask on earlier. I am in Livermore in Northern California, and those are goats behind me. <laughs> and down there, right over my shoulder, uh, you'll see the rest of the team that I'm working with, uh, Rebecca Valencia, who is my co-founder of Just Fight Hype. Um, she was my old boss, uh, and now I work with her with JPW Communications, where we work with local government entities and agencies. So right now, we're up here working with Zone 7 Water District. Um, this is my second time shooting with them here. I'm at work, <laughs> taking a break. Um, and the goats, oh, I'm honestly not 100% sure what the details on the goats are because I, I didn't read the documentation that was sent to me. Uh, <laughs> we flew up here today. This has been the first time I've flown since uh, lockdown. Because the last time I came up to Northern California, I was, um, uh, I took my car, which was awesome. Uh, do they need me? I'm just checking to see if they need me. Um, anyway, yeah, so the goats have something to do with water treatment. I'm not entirely certain what uh, I'm going to learn today. Um, what else can I tell you about this? Yeah, we, we flew up here today uh and we're gonna be up here today and tomorrow shooting all day today shooting all day tomorrow and then flying back to san diego and then when i get back to san diego i have three or four smaller shoots friday and saturday so september has been pretty busy pretty freaking busy um not complaining it's been awesome busy it's very much been like yo i'm getting paid i'm paying my rent <laughs> the photography and it looks like i have a couple of hotel gigs coming up um definitely a lot has picked up these goats are super cute hi goat that one has poop stuck to his butt um so yeah uh today i had texted a couple of my friends <laughs> when i got up here i'm like man um multiple achievements unlocked today my dream had always been to support myself and thrive as a professional artist and to travel regularly for work um, and to see all kinds of cool things and explore cool places as a direct connection to what I do. And I got to do that. Um, yeah, like today I flew up here specifically to take photos. Like they, there's people who think I'm so good at what I do that they are spending money <laughs> to have me travel. Like I, I, was, I was explaining this like to my mom and she had a difficult time on like really kind of wrapping her brain around it. Um, I was explaining to my dad too. Like they're like, well, don't they have photographers up there? I'm like, yeah. But they want to work with me, um, which seems simple, but somehow is a difficult thing for, for them to kind of grasp. Uh, so we went, we went back and forth a few times about that. Like the last few times I've traveled for work, um, I am imagining that in the near future, when I travel again to different places, I'll, I'll put the word out that I'm going to be in town so I can do some more work out there. Uh, I hung out with my friend, Lynn Marie, uh, um, the other night, and she's moved out to Austin, and she's like now a big name in the psychedelics podcasting community. And she kind of got started uh, because she knew me, and I'd been hosting Burner Podcast, and I kind of got her, uh, she calls me her podfather. <laughs> uh, so that's been really awesome to watch her grow and explode she just hit like 10,000 followers on Instagram and she was explaining to me all that goes into making that happen the regular daily responses immediately responding to um, 
every message in Yahoo leaves, which apparently is a part of it, which I don't, I don't have the patience for. And I was telling her, I, I, you know, I uh, don't really I, I have some idea what it takes. I don't really want to. Um, I don't know. Do I want the fruits without the work? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I know on Instagram, the thing that helps is to be at 10,000 followers because then you can have the swipe up button to link to a podcast or whatever project it is that you're promoting. And I, would, I wish I could do that. I don't have access to that ability because I don't have 10,000 followers. <laughs> um, but I decided, you know, I'm going to continue to build this. I'm really enjoying the communications and interactions that I've had with a lot of you through these videos. Uh, I've already... It's hard to point out if it's like um, you put your energy out into the universe and the universe doesn't like directly, uh, you know, write you a check for your effort, but um, it does seem to, it does seem like it starts to yield more energy back. And that's what I've been, that's what I've been experiencing. Uh, so pretty busy, lots of stuff going on. Today's going to be a pretty full day. Tomorrow will be a pretty full day. Uh, I knew that I wanted to sneak away and record this vlog and what better time to do it than in front of the goats. Um, they're filming down there. Into the future. What else can I tell you? Still have not had time to turn in or upload the photos for John from when I was in Valle de Guadalupe last week because uh, we immediately hit the road and we were in Sedona. And... But yeah, overall, I've been sharing and putting it out there more and more that I don't really... I'm, I'm separating the photo editing process from photography. They are different skill sets. They are different talents. Uh, and one interests me a lot more than the other. And I'm enjoying that. So even now, like I'm, I'm gonna just turn in all these photos and, and JPW is working with two graphic designers whom I adore, uh, Joy and Armando. Armando was my, another one of my co-founders of Justified Hype. Um, so it's great turning in the photos to them and not having to deal with editing and selecting and choosing and they enjoy that process. They love doing that and um, it's great. It's been pretty liberating. Get more into fashion stuff now. I, I'm ready to like, I made the decision a few nights ago. It just like, it came to me that I am and will continue to be a prolific photographer. I'm gonna do a lot of work, a lot of collaborations. Um, and worry less than ever about editing and choosing and selecting and handing them over. You can do whatever you want to do with them. So artists out there, if you're, if you're putting work out into the world, I'm legitimately, that's who I have the softest spot for, artists. If you're artists, if you're working in nonprofits, if you're working in interesting places that are doing important work, I will come and shoot for you. Um, I want to come help tell your story. And since it's on my terms, I decide what those terms are going to be. So if you're, for example, if you have friends um, who are connected to nonprofits or charities and such, and they could use some photography, I'm not going to schedule out and do like a full work day, but I'll, I'll swing by. Like if, if that's what we want to do, and I'll say, hey, I'll, I'll come and shoot what you need for an hour um, and help tell your story and help promote your work. Same thing with artists, maybe like showing you an action if you, know, you need images. Um, uh, I'm open to it. Now, if you're going to pay me, you become a priority, obviously. <laughs> but I'm open to collaborations and connections um, because I, my real paycheck, uh, I've always, I, I do believe, is going to come from the, um, the team at Vogue or Vanity Fair. <laughs> I'm thinking really big. I always have. I'm not interested in nickel and diming people who can barely afford it, but I do want to see you put energy towards getting me in there. So I'm not volunteering my time either. It's going to be an even energy exchange. And that 
whatever form that takes is up for discussion. It looks like they're done recording. Okay. I think we're heading out to do some landscape stuff next. All right. Love you all. Ciao. Boop.